Hi there and welcome to another tutorial for the LXL Core 3 Maths A Level Syllabus. In this video I'm going through uh, another topic on differentiation, namely the quotient rule. Just taking a look at the syllabus as always, um, so far we've done the product rule, the chain rule, and we've used the fact that dy by dx is the reciprocal of dx by dy. Now we're going to um, do uh, learn about the quotient rule. Okay, um, let's start by introducing the quotient rule and what it does for us, and I'll even show you the proof for the quotient rule because it's nice and straightforward and uses the chain rule. So, the quotient rule, you use it to differentiate two functions of x that are dividing. Okay, and it says the following. If you have a, a function that can be written as one function divided by the other, a function u of x divided by a function v of x, then dy by dx is given by the formula v du by dx minus u dv by dx, all divided by v squared. So maybe slightly simpler notation that I tend to use in the questions, I say that if uh, y is u over v, u divided by v, two functions of x, then dy by dx is v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared. And I'm going to just take a moment to prove it for you because it's a nice application of the chain rule. So, how could we prove it? Quotient. So y is equal to u of x all divided by v of x. But we could also write this as u of x multiplied by 1 over v of x. And therefore we could write this as u of x multiplied by v of x, all this function here to the power of negative 1, the reciprocal of v of x. So y is u of x times v of x to the minus 1, not the inverse function, this is 1 over v of x. Okay. Now we could apply the product rule. So the product rule, I'm not going to use u and v here because it will confuse things, but the product rule says if y is equal to two functions of x times together, let's say, let's call them f and g, then dy by dx is f g dashed plus g f dashed. Okay, so you it's the first one times the derivative of the second plus the second one times the derivative of the first. The u of x, we can think of that as our f, and the v of x, the minus 1, we can think of this as our g. Let's try and differentiate then. So dy by dx, well we want f times g dash, well f is u of x, so u of x, now we want to differentiate this, we're going to do it by the chain rule. Bring down the power of minus 1, multiply by the derivative of the brackets, so multiply by the derivative of v of x, which is v dashed x, and then take this whole expression and reduce it in power by another 1. So we would multiply that by v of x, all to the minus 2. And then we would add g f dashed x, well g is v of x to the minus 1 times f dashed x which will be u dashed x, the derivative of u of x. Now let's tidy things up a little bit. Uh, this here, the v dashed is on top, the u dashed is on top, and negative 1 is on top, but you've got a v squared on the, on the denominator. So this would be negative u of x, v dashed x, all over v squared, v of x squared, and this here is a plus, what do you have on top, u dashed, and you have a v of x on the bottom, so u dashed x, v of x. Okay, now, here you've got some algebraic fractions. You can't add until the denominators are the same. 
multiply the second one on top and bottom by v of x. At this stage, I'm just going to draw. Um, I'm going to therefore say that's negative u of x v dashed x plus u dashed x v of x, all divided by v of x all squared. And we've got our result, except for I should put this one uh, first on the top because this is a positive and make the, the negative one second. I'm also going to drop the x's here. So just to finish off what our dy by dx is, our dy by dx is therefore v times u dash, v u dash, subtract u v dash, all divided by v squared. And we have our result. Okay, so this is a formula we can use in the exam to differentiate uh, functions where there is a division happening. There is a quotient, one function of x divided by another function of x. Let's take a look at an example, do one, then I'll let you have a go and do one yourself. Here we go. You're given that y is equal to this, they want dy over dx. Always state your u and your v. u is always the top, the numerator, and v is always the bottom, the denominator. So u is equal to x, and v is equal to 2x plus 5. Work out your u dash and your v dash before you substitute into formula. u dash is 1, v dash is equal to 2. And then you substitute in your formula. dy by dx is therefore v u dash, so it's 2x plus 5 times 1, subtract um, uv dash, so x times 2, all divided by uh, v squared, which would be 2x plus 5, all squared. Now it's just time to do a bit of tidying up. Um, on the top, this would be 2x plus 5, subtract 2x. So you just get 5 on the top, all divided by 2x plus 5, all squared. And there you have your expression for the gradient function dy by dx. Very simple. If they ask for what dy by dx is at the coordinate 2, 8, you would substitute x equals 2 in here, and that would give you the gradient at that point. OK, uh, time for you to have a go at one. Pause the video, have a go. In five seconds, I'll go through. Okay, state your u and your v. u is equal to x, the numerator. v is equal to 3x plus 1. u dashed is therefore 1. v dashed is therefore 3. dy by dx, well, that's v u dashed, so it's 3x plus 1 times 1. Subtract u v dashed, so x multiplied by 3 all divided by v squared, so 3x plus 1 squared. Tidying up, therefore, we would get 1 on the top, so we would get 1 over 3x plus 1 all squared. That is our dy by dx, that is our gradient function. It asks for us for the value of dy by dx at this place on the curve, namely where x is 1 where x is 1 and y, y is a quarter. We can substitute in x is 1 into our gradient function. So dy by dx, where x is equal to 1, you just sub 1 in, and you get 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 over 16, and you're done. And that's all there is to learn about the quotient rule. Just to finish with, I suggest you read chapter 8, page 137 and 138, look at those examples, and do every question on exercise 8C, page 138. Thank you for watching.